First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakai Kudas. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who has the 100% truth and who I'm learning from. This is for the hope for elect of Israel, which I use so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Also, you speckled birds that scatter across the four corners of the earth, that's mingled within the other nations. They may look like the other heathen nations. If this word resonates with you, then your lineage go back from your father's side to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are the true Hebrew Israelites, and which the Bible speaks of. First and foremost, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Yah is He, Hawa, He is this, He is, He to be. In the name of His only beloved Son, and His only begotten Son, and His beloved Son. Yahweh Shai. Yah is he, Yahweh. Yah is he, Yahweh Shai. Means he the Savior, he the deliverer. And Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior, is who we are looking forward to come in these last days. Okay, I want to talk about uh, the air quality. As you know, New York, Michigan, and other states are suffering from a very bad uh, air quality. And it's due to the land being defiled. And being defiled by the rich and elite bacon families. And the people that are under them, because the rich and elite bacon families, the so-called white men, are ruling this queendom. So therefore, as the ruler is, so as the subjects in this place, it's being destroyed by the Heavenly Father Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh because they're broke. They have broken every covenant. You know, there's a covenant. That's a covenant for the land. You know that you have to keep up with the season in order to plant. They have broken that covenant. They have broken every covenant, every ordinance that the Heavenly Father Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, have put forth. To keep the land to replenish. The land heals itself. But again, the covenants of the land, the covenants of the people, everything has been broken. So therefore, there's a judgment for it. And I'm about to get to it. Starting with Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with the sword destruction. In the NLT. Up, be gone. This is no longer your land and home, for ye have filled it with sin and ruined it completely. It's going to be destroyed. It will be destroyed. Okay? So you got to get your mind right. Separate yourself from this place. It don't, don't mean to take a trip to another land. You can't do that because this whole, this whole, Age is about to be folded up and destroyed. It's about to be folded up and destroyed because, see, this has to be swept clean, refreshed for New Jerusalem, okay, for Israel. Because we can't, we can't, we can't possibly live in a place that's defiled like this. When your homicide comes, he's going to refresh this place. And he's on his way. Okay, now let's get to, uh, let's go to uh, Deuteronomy. Let's look at Deuteronomy 20, 20th chapter and go to the 19th verse. In the reeds. I mean, that shall be seeds. You know, and, 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 th and you got all these trees burning and stuff. That's because, that's, that because you saw even the so-called white man is, is using the resources. He's turning every, he weaponized everything. And he, when, he, when he does that, he's breaking the covenant. The land covenant, the resources and everything else. Deuteronomy 20 and 19. 
when thou shalt besiege a city a long time and making war against it to take it, thou shalt not destroy the trees thereof by forcing the axe against them, for thou mayest eat of them, and thou shalt not cut them down, for the tree of the field is man's life, to employ them in the siege. Okay? So, you know, you, you cutting down trees that we need, that the world needs, that we need to eat off of, you know, the fruit trees and everything else, because you weaponize them against the people. Verse 20, only the trees which thou knowest that they be not trees for meat, thou shalt destroy and cut them down, and thou shalt build bulwarks against the city that make a war with them, until it be subdued. So, so everything is, 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 they're doing things that's contrary to the, the to the covenants, to the laws, to the to the things that we need to do according to the heavenly Father Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai to keep this planet rolling in success, you know, rolling and healing itself. You cutting down trees, fruit trees, things that we need to 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 live by, to live on, and you destroying it because you have nothing but wickedness in your mind. Esau, Edom, the so-called white men, the rich and elite banking families. Jeremiah. Book of Jeremiah, um, 10th chapter. Start of the first verse, Jeremiah 10 and 1. Hear ye the word which the Heavenly Father Yahweh. Speaking unto you, O house of Israel, verse 2, Thus said the heavenly Father Yahweh, Learn not the ways of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. You see in the signs of the heavens, you know, like the, the, the so-called uh, UFOs, the UAPs, those are the, the chariots. You know, you see in these, these uh, uh, pink moons, these red moons, and the sun, because of all the wickedness, that uh, these are signs for the, the wickedness that Esau Edom has done. The originally begging family has done because the earth is defiled through them, you know, and the inhabitants under them. Because who they learning it from them, the wicked. And the laws are slack. Look, this whole place is defiled. So the signs they see up in heaven, they're dismayed at them. Because they know. And they don't, they don't understand that you done this. You created this. The, the haze in the air. The red, the red suns and moons. Oh, all those signs because this place is about to be destroyed. You see those chariots? This place is about to be destroyed. That's the angels coming back. Those not no aliens. Hear you the word. Which the Heavenly Father Yahweh speaking unto you, O house of Israel, thus said the Heavenly Father Yahweh, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of the heaven, of heaven, for the heathen not dismayed at them. Okay. Now yeah, let's go down to uh, the tenth. Jeremiah 10 and go on to the 8 verse. And it reads, But they are altogether brutish and foolish. The stock is the doctrine of vanities. Because, but you know, they, and then they worship all these, uh, you know, like for, for example, like the pagan holidays, Christmas. You know, they cut down this, these, these trees in the woods and decorate them. You know, they're worshiping them, you know. Again, Micah 2 and 10, come out and hurt my people, these, this is not your rest. Roughly paraphrasing it. You, know, you can't follow what the heathen do, because that's going to be to your destruction. Okay? It's going to be to your destruction. Okay? 
and they're cutting down these trees and worshiping them. Uh, that's they're defiling the land in that sense, you know. And they are also going against the heavenly Father because they're worshiping idol gods. Okay. Verse ten. But the heavenly Father Yahweh is the true power. He is the living power and the everlasting King. At His wrath. The earth shall tremble, and the nations shall not be able to abide his indignation, which is righteous anger. Thus shall he say unto them, The gods that had that have not made the heavens and the earth, even they shall perish from the earth and from under these heavens. Okay. Verse twelve, he hath made the earth by his power, he had established the world by his wisdom, and has stretched out the heavens by his discretion. The Heavenly Father did all this. So you worship and he's doing the Christmas and all of that. The goes that's pagan. It, you're gonna pay for it. You're gonna pay for it. Okay? And it's, then you're gonna pay for it by destruction, by pain. And the earth is fighting back. It's fighting back for all the abominations that this rulership have done to this wicked rulership done to it. Okay? Under Esau Edom, the so-called white man, originally the lead bacon families. Even the, all the other heathen nations, they do their thing too. Okay? This against the heavenly father, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah. Leviticus 18. Start at the 22nd verse. You know, because all of these, all of these things that this, this, this rulership, with the laws that they, 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 they make the unrighteous decrees that allow anybody could, any, any, anybody could do anything that they want to do. It defiles the land. It defiles the people. Therefore, destruction comes. Okay? Leviticus 18, 22nd verse, Thou shalt not lie with mankind and with womankind. It is an abomination. Do not practice homosexuality, having sex without, uh, with another man, an LT, as with a woman. It is a detestable sin. It says that in Scripture. I didn't say it. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Shem, your house, I said it. Verse 23. Neither shall thou lie with any beast to defile thyself therewith. Neither shall any woman stand before a beast to lie down thereto. It is confusing. Exactly. And it is, a, it is abomination as well. And you're going to be destroyed for it. Okay. That's simple. You're going to be destroyed for it. Verse 23, Neither shalt thou lie with any beast to defile thyself herewith. Neither shall any woman stand before a beast to lie down there too. It is confused. Now, I remember seeing something in the news where an uh, 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 Edomite woman laid down with a dog and videotaped it or something. You can't tell me this place not wicked and it's going to be destroyed for it. Verse 24, Defile not yourself in any of these things, for in all things the nations are defiled under let me read that again. Verse 24, Leviticus 18, 24. Leviticus 18 and 24. Defile not ye yourselves in any of these things. For in all these the nations are defiled, which I cast out before you. Okay? Do not defile yourselves in any of these ways. For the people I am driving out before you have defiled themselves in these ways. Okay? Land is defiled. So they got to be driven out. Verse 25, and the land is defiled, therefore I do visit the iniquity thereof upon it, and the land itself vomited out her inhabitants. That's what's going on now. That's what's going on now. So take out there, repent. This is about repentance coming back to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, side. Don't be joined up with these people, or you're going to be destroyed. Ezekiel. No, let's go to Numbers, 
So like at Numbers. Look at Numbers. 35th chapter. Thirty third verse, 30, verse thirty three. This numbers thirty fifth chapter, verse thirty three. So shall ye not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood is, for let me read that again. Numbers thirty, numbers, chapter thirty five and thirty three, verse thirty third verse. And it reads, So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is said therein, but by the but by the blood of him that said it. Only way this land is gonna be cleansed is by the by the people who shed it the blood. And it's basically to my innocent blood, but if you look around, this this land was built on blood. How? Transatlantic slave trade. Also, the 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 uh, northern kingdom that been here before was here before we got here. They said the blood of, of of our brothers. We built this land. This this land is based upon deceit, murder, rape, robbery, and all kind of abominable things. This land was built on. The White House, the Edomite House, the Rich and Lee Bacon families. This land is defiled. Do you think it's not going to be destroyed? After what I just read, Numbers 35, 33. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that said it. Verse 34. Defile not therefore the land which ye shall inhabit, wherein I dwell. For I, the heavenly Father Yahweh, dwell among the children of Israel. Okay, you got it. Micah two and ten. Come out of her, my people. Okay, it's not your rest. First Chronicles. Mama finish. This is first book of First Chronicles. Chapter twenty two, start at the sixth verse. Solomon charged with the task. Because if we've been kicked out for the same thing, don't you think you, you you're gonna be kicked out too? You saw even Richie Lee banking families, okay? Start at the sixth verse. Then he called for Solomon his son and charged him to build a house for the heavenly father Yahweh, power of Israel. And David said to Solomon his son, My son, as for me, it was in my mind to build a house and to the name of the heavenly father Yahweh, my power. And by the way, if you can receive it, Solomon in the reincarnation is Yahweh Shai, if you can receive it. Verse 7, and David said to Solomon, my son, as for me, I was in, it was in my mind to build a house unto the name of the Heavenly Father Yahweh, my power. Verse 8, but the word of the Heavenly Father Yahweh came to me say, saying, thou hast shed blood abundantly and hast made great wars. Thou shalt not build a house unto my name because thou hast shed much blood upon the earth in my sight. See? King David couldn't, couldn't build a temple. And was not the temple being built not it's, it's the spiritual temple, okay? Which is the elect of Israel. Not all of Israel, only the elect of Israel. That's the spiritual temple being built now. Through under Yahweh Shah. The elder apostles. A great millstone. Teach us on down. And anyone to come up under that the, the one true hundred percent doctrine. This is the spiritual temple being built now. 
verse 8. But the word of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, came to me, saying, Thou hast said blood abundantly, and hast made great wars. Thou shalt not build a house unto, unto my name, because thou hast said much blood upon the earth in my sight. Verse 9, Behold, a son shall be born to thee, and shall be, and shall be a man of rest. And I will give him rest from all his enemies round about, for his name shall be Solomon. And I will give peace and quietness unto Israel in his days. Verse 10. He shall build an house for my name. He shall build and he shall be my son. And I will be his father. And I will establish the throne of his kingdom over Israel forever. See? Bitch, and he you think you're gonna last forever? No, this is not for you. This is for the for for the elect of Israel. This is for the the all of this 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 happening is for our sakes. This kingdom don't be, this this has to be destroyed, and it's gonna be destroyed by our Lord and Savior Yahweh. This place is getting ready to get refreshed. That's why the things that are happening now you see what's going on. That's why these things are happening. And it's only gonna get worse because see, you can't you, you you can't do righteous. You can't be righteous. Okay. Now if I me get that right quick. I said 26 or 10. Let favor be sold to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness will he deal unjustly and will not be held. Behold the majesty of the heavenly Father Yahweh. Let me read that again. I said 26 and 10. Let favor be sold to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. In the land of, of uprightness will he deal unjustly and will not behold the majesty. Of the heavenly father Yahweh. He was given. As in Job 9.24. The earth was given over to the. hand Into the hand of the wicked. Okay. I got to get that. Job 9.24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the desert there. But not where and who is it. That's self explanatory. You know. It was given over to you. But you still couldn't. You know. You, you the wicked. You were created for this. So you're not gonna you're not gonna learn. You're gonna keep doing what you're gonna do, you know. But see, the Heavenly Father, you have about to me homicide getting ready to do it to you. Okay, you're about to get judged. And anybody connected with him, especially of Israel, you know, not of Israel, the two thirds, you're gonna get judged too. And any of you hopeful elect. I say hopeful because we are not out of here yet. And we, we, we're doing this so that the elect are already sealed, but we're doing this so that you can be activated, you know, that we want to get out of here, you know. But things, you know, other prophecies have had to play out like Revelation 13, 16, you know, Karagma and all this. But nevertheless, you know, this is not our rest. Okay, so let's go to... Uh, First Chronicles. We had that. 2022. Okay. Verse 8. But the word of the Holy Father Yahweh came to me saying, Thou hast said blood abundantly and hast made great wars. Thou shalt not Thou shalt not build a house until my name, because thou hast shed much blood upon the earth in my sight. So, so, so the earth is defiled by blood, you know. It's defiled by blood. This this kingdom. So it's got it, it, it's got to go. It's got to go. Okay. Amos one. It's and eleven. Thus said the heavenly Father Yahweh, for three transgressors of Edom and for four. I will not I will not turn away the punishment thereof. 
because he did pursue his brother with the sword and did cast off all pity, and his anger did tear perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever. He kept his wrath forever for us. He kept his wrath forever, and he's still trying to, he's trying to get destroy, if he had destroyed this whole planet just to get at Israel, the true Hebrew Israelites. See, he knows. He knows. You know, this is not our rest. Isaiah 24. And it reads, Isaiah 24 and... Uh, Start the fifth verse. The earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenants. Therefore, have the curse devolved the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned, and a few men left. Okay. And O.T. Therefore, curse consumes the earth. Its people must pay the price for their sin. They are destroyed by fire, and only a few are left. Okay? So, look forward to that. Because this place is going to get destroyed. Ezekiel 35. It will be destroyed. Ezekiel 35 starts the first verse. And you see the prophecy against Mount Seir. That's what you see at the top, the header. Prophecy against prophesy against Mount Seir. Verse 1. Moreover, the word of the Heavenly Father Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, and prophesy against it, and say unto it, Thus said the, the Heavenly Father Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh, Shai. Behold, O Mount Seir, which is you rich in the banking family, the Esau, Edom, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make, and I will make thee most desolate. And I'll see, give them this message from the sovereign Lord Yahweh. I am your enemy, O Mount Seir. I will raise up my fist against you to destroy you completely. How is that going to happen? That's going to happen through the thermonuclear missiles and also through the so-called UFOs, you know, and the UAPs, which you so you ignorantly call UFOs. These are the chariots of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh's side. The Lord has set the oath, okay? Verse 3. And said unto it, Thou said the Heavenly Father Yahweh by some Yahweh side, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and will make thee most desolate. Verse 4, And will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate. Thou shalt note that I am the Heavenly Father Yahweh. And I'll see, I will demolish your cities. I will make you desolate. Then you will note that I am the Heavenly Father Yahweh. You're going to know it's now. Everybody's going to know it's now, all right? If you don't know it now, you know it and took it for granted. You will know it. You will know it. Verse 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword and their, in the time of their calamity and the time that their iniquity had an end. Now, we don't have the, the physical iron yokes around our necks no more. But, but you destroyed us through your laws, through your unrighteous decrees, you know. The northern and the southern kingdom. Okay. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end, the force of the sword. You weaponize everything. You so-called white man, you saw Edom. You, you weaponized the water. You weaponized the, the trees. You weaponized everything. And, and it's destroying the land. It's destroying us. Michael 2 and 10, this is not our rest. Okay? But you're going to pay for this, Esau, Edom. That's why... You originally banging family. That's why you see the things that's happening. 
Okay? Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of a sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Verse 6. Therefore, as Isaiah said, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh power, Yahweh by some Yahweh, sir, I will, pre I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Thus, I will make Mount Seir most desolate and cut off from it him that passes out and him that return it. This place is going to get destroyed. Like thermonuclear missiles. You see all these armies rising up against this place, isolating this place. God and Magog. Everything is happening because them prophecies are speaking. They're speaking. Okay. They're speaking, so look forward to this so-called white man, Esau, Edom, the rich and elite banking families. You know, since y'all want to keep on doing what you're doing, you can't help it because you are wicked. You are the wicked. you two-thirds, you done too. You done too. And this is what the Holy Elect is looking forward to happen. This is what we are looking forward to happen. Michael. Michael to him. First words, woe unto them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. And they, and they cover fields and take them by violence in houses and take them away. So they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. Therefore said the heavenly father, Yahweh, by Shemir, Yahweh, behold, against the family do I devise an evil, from which ye shall not remove your necks, neither shall ye go hollowly. But this time is evil. In that day shall one take up a parable against you and lament with a doleful lamentation and say, We be utterly spoiled. He hath changed the portion of my people. How hath he removed it from me? Turning away, he hath divided our fields. Therefore, thou shalt have none that shall cast the core by lot in the congregation of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Just also true and false prophets. Prophesy ye not, say they to them that prophesy. They shall not prophesy to them that they shall not take shame. And that's what JB talking about. JB like, you know, I want to hear it. Hear that. You know. You want to hear the smooth thing. Okay, here you go. In the NLT, don't say such things. The people respond. Don't prophesy, don't prophesy like that. Such disasters will never come our way, but it's coming to you two-thirds. Verse 7. O thou that art named the house of Jacob, is the spirit of the Lord straightened? Are these his doings? Do not my words do good to him that walketh uprightly? NLT. So you talk that way, O family of Israel, with the heavenly fathers, Yahweh's spirit, have patience with the, with such behavior. If you would do what is right, you will find my words comforting. Yeah, if we do what's right, but you're not. You're out there with the moles and hoes. Okay. You can you gonna see it with that flag they come. Okay. Verse eight. Even of late, my people is risen up as an enemy. They pull off the robe with the garment from them that pass by securely as men adverse from war. NLT. Yet to this very hour, my people rise against 
me like an enemy. You stood a search right off the bat of those who trusted you, making them as ragged as men returning from battle. Okay? So, you know, you coming up against the prophets and teachers and apostles on highways and byways. Dogging us out, you know. It's going to get judged for it. Verse 9. The women, women of my people have you cast out from the pleasant houses. From their children have you taken away my glory forever. You have evicted women from their pleasant homes and forever stripped their children for all that the most high Yahweh will give them. That's why in verse 10, this is not our rest. Arise ye and depart. But this is not your rest because it is polluted. It will destroy you even with the sword destruction. Verse 11, if a man walking, walking in the spirit of falsehood do lie, saying, I will prophesy to thee of wine and of strong drink, he will even be the prophet of the people. So whatever you're getting taught out there, Jay, because you want to hear smooth things, you want to hear the truth, that's what you're going to believe, man. You're going to be destroyed by your belief. Okay? Verse 11, if a man walking in the spirit of falsehood do lie, saying, I will prophesy unto thee of wine and of strong drink, he shall even be the prophet of this people. And on teach supposed to prophet full of lies will say to you, I will preach you the joys of wine and alcohol. That's just the kind of prophet you would like. Verse 12, I will surely assemble, O Jacob, all of thee. I will surely gather the remnant of Israel. I will put them together as the sheep of Basra, as the flock in the midst of their fold, they shall make great noise by reason of the multitude of men. You know, teach, someday, O Israel, I will gather you. I will gather the remnant who are left. I will bring you together again like sheep in a pen, like a flock in a pasture. Yeah, your land will again be filled with noisy crowds. Well, what's this the elect? The, the, the hopeful elect right now? You know? The one third, but the two thirds got to go. Verse 13 the breakers come up before them, they have broken up and have passed through the gate. They are gone out by it, and their kings shall pass before them, and the heavenly father Yahweh on the head of them. In OT, your leader will break out and lead you out of exile, out through the gates of the enemy cities. Back to your own land. Your king will lead you. The heavenly father, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai himself will guide you. And that's about, it's all about the elect. Not you heathen nations and the elect of Israel. You got Israel as a whole, but it's all about the elect of Israel. This trip, okay? And we could be led out. We could be being up in those chariots. And we're going to come back down, New Jerusalem. And we're going to continue to clean up this place. We're not going to do the work. Because we're going to have, we're going to have service. We're going to have slaves that's going to be doing this. And they're going to build this place back up. Mainly, Esau, Edom, so-called white men, the recent elite banking families. Gonna be under us. All the nations gonna be under us. It's gonna be order. Finally, it's gonna be order, righteous order. It's not gonna be no more moles. It's not gonna be no more. No other gods. None of that. It's gonna be order, and we're gonna be at rest. Okay. So with that. The water to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai for helping me, allowing me to bring this out this morning. Uh, praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, the double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well. And with that, Shalom.